How are you feeling, Mom? I feel like I might have handprints left on my face when I remove my hand. No, I mean, are you excited about me? Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> my heart is racing. So today, I'm going to be transformed into my mom. I remember a phase of not wanting to hang out with you, like in my late teens, mid-teens, and then in my, from my early 20s until now, you're like one of my best friends. My mom and I have a really great relationship. I would consider her not just my best friend, but also my personal inspiration. She's a great mom. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't cry. I'm recreating a picture of when you were 23, which is how old I am right now. Well, when I was 23, I was having the time of my life. I was carrying around this cute little bundle of joy. Alex has always liked to dress up like Disney characters. And I think in this one, she was in her Jasmine mm -hmm. phase. And I was fixing her hair, as she did until ninth grade, probably. <laughs> yes. I was 28 at the time. At that time, I was pregnant with my fourth child. She makes the cookies for all my friends. She does our laundry. She has us over for movie nights. She was married and already had a child by the time she was my age. And I'm nowhere even close to that. Um, I've barely you know, moved to the place I wanted to live and gotten a job that I wanted to get just recently, the past few months. So I think she was a, a lot more ahead in her lifetime at the age of 25 than I am. Growing up in a mixed race family was a very different experience than I think a lot of people have. A lot of kids told me when I was younger that like I didn't look like my mom or it was impossible for my mom to be my mom. And it's so interesting to me because I think I actually have a lot of her same physical features and the only difference is skin color. There's four of us and we always came first, always. And she's just the first person I call for anything. And so it's just knowing that she's there and being a friend more than a mom. She's a very hard worker. So even though she was bringing up four kids, she always worked full time, but she was always there. Why do I feel nervous? Okay. I know. <laughs> okay, and I also have no idea what I look like, so. Oh my gosh. One, two, three. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Does it look funny? Yes. <laughs> do you like you it? You do! I haven't look seen at you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> You're like my twinsie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Do I look like you? Wow, yeah, and Aunt Velta. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god, I sound like you! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Don't you That's like weird. that? <laughs> That's weird! I know, I know what I used to look like. Oh, why was your hair so short? <laughs> because I had. I do look kids. like it, Velta! You do, I know! <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. Oh, I like it. <laughs> this is bizarre. <laughs> it's like looking at myself. Well, it's like looking at my mom through my five year old eyes. I remember seeing this. And I remember playing with her when she looked like this and dressed like this. <laughs> just, it kind of makes me, I don't know, kind of sad or. Don't be sad. Well, it is. It's just kind of like, man, I miss those days. I love your dreams and I love your determination. She's just a yes woman, and she says yes to everything, and I love that about my mom. I love how kind you are and nice you are and how much you gave up to provide a life for me. I love that when Alex does set a goal, she gives 110%. Oh, thanks for being my rock. Oh, I love you. I love you too. <laughs>